I am Phil Hay, and I am uh, a, the uh, screenwriter with my partner, Matt Manfredi, and uh, one of the producers of the movie. We didn't want to just try to put, um, you know, uh, female clothes on this type of character. We were hoping to create something where her problems and who she is is very is unique to who she, is unique to who she is, um, and and what we hope makes the movie different is that we take the time, not just to touch on, but that really what the movie is in the end is is a, is a drama about this woman and about her journey through life and her attempt to atone for in her very weird and and uh, messy way try to realize she needs to atone for what she's done. Karen takes the script so seriously that she really and uniquely is invested in just knowing the script so deeply and, and making her choices organically out of that as opposed to kind of putting choices onto it. The minute we heard Nicole might be interested, immediately I think we all, I mean I can speak for myself, I think all of us, knew that the power that she has was what the character, we, that that power could be used to, to make that, that human being and that character. I didn't know exactly what sort of transforming experience it was going to be or exactly what that, the, the Aaron was going to look like next to Nicole, but one of the first things Nicole said was, I don't want people to see me, I want them to see this character. And, and she had such a specific and visceral gut feeling of who this woman was that was so in line with what we wanted and what we were hoping and how we saw her and how Karin did that um, there wasn't really a moment where I said, wow, well, you know, you know, is she too beautiful to play this, this character who's not meant to be beautiful or who is meant to not care about that at all? Um, but I sort of knew immediately just given, you know, if you, you know, handing the keys to one of the hands down best actors that is alive is always a good choice, I think. She's formidable, and that's something about Erin that is interesting, is for all of her, uh, the way that she's sort of discarded and, 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 and unappreciated um, and kind of seen with scorn by some of the other cops and how she has really struggled in life largely of her own making, she is formidable and she has a power and she often gets what she wants in a scene. And so thinking of Nicole in that, in that um, context, I also was really excited to, to see. In one way, it's a drama about a woman who is trying to come to terms with how she's lived her life and try to find some way to move forward. Uh, and in another way, I would say this is an L.A. crime thriller um, about uh, uh, someone who was, when they're very young, put in a situation that they couldn't handle and has been dealing with those reper repercussions. And in a way, it's a story of a manhunt, however you look at it. And uh, so in terms of, the, of, of genre terms, it really is a thriller about someone on a, an obsessive and destructive mission um, to, who, which, of which the um, consequences start to slowly become unveiled to us. Knowing that Karin was going to do the movie and that we already had so deeply, um, as a unit, the three of us had, and a family, had really uh, done a tremendous amount of preparation and filling out the world. and. Um, and Karin walks into every single meeting with such a panoramic view of everything you can imagine about this movie that, that, that her um, passion is very contagious and it's also very reassuring to people because there is not a thing she hasn't thought about. Sebastian is um, such a, a wonderful guy, B, such a, uh, such a powerful actor. He's very open, but he also has, a, you know, a lot of ideas, and he's um, wants to have a good conversation about not just his character, about the movie, about what we're trying to do. So, so he was a, a real, um, real joy to work with and get to know. Toby's really awesome and amazing, and he was. I think a lot of people know that he's witty, charming. Um, 
uh, um, fascinating. You know, he's one of those people that is like, he's very, he, he, the people want to be around him and want to talk to him and want to, you know, kind of get in his orbit. Not only is she one of the best actors you can imagine, but she is the kind of person that we're going to want to be friends with forever because she has such a soul, you know, so she's wonderful. Nicole is someone who, um, especially Karin and her, just really found something like, really like a connection that is like a recognition between the two of them of, in so many ways they're so different, but in so many ways they're really similar. And one of the things that really unites them is like absolute passion for art. I'm just so impressed with her. I mean, you know, like, uh, and, and so um, it, it's just such a privilege to, you know, like to be, to work with and to be married to, you know, who I consider for me the, the, the greatest artist that I've ever known. So it allows us to, um, yeah, it is actually, it's just so much fun to be just rooting her on and doing everything that I can to support that and, and, um, and feeling that back too, that she is um, so deeply appreciative and supportive of what Matt and I do, um, that it just really, it really feeds back.